This is Ralph Irvin at the Acosta Athletic Performance Training Center where the UCLA football team is well into their winter 2011 workout series. This week on Football Friday, we look at the people behind those workouts and how they're getting the Bruins ready for the 2011 football season. Our day begins, uh, really we get here about 4.30, between 4.30 and 5 and, and prepping. Um, all the materials get ready for a 5.30 staff meeting. Uh, at that time, the entire staff will come in, including our interns. Uh, we'll review the lesson plan for the day, um, not unlike what a, a teaching professor would do. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about the points of emphasis for the day. We'll go over any injured athletes in terms of what we're doing with them in the weight room. Um, we'll talk about setup for the workouts. Uh, and then our coaches from there will go and get set up um, and get ready for the six o'clock workout. We start every workout with um, anywhere between a 15 to 30 minute active dynamic warm up. Uh, and what we're doing with that is we're obviously, um, you know, getting the athletes' muscles ready to go for the workout, getting their uh, core temperature up, getting them warmed up. Uh, working on a lot of flexibility, uh, dynamic flexibility with our athletes. Uh, but that's also an opportunity for us to integrate some of our speed dynamics and movement dynamics that we'll do with certain positions. Um, we'll do some injury prevention work um, with them out there as well. We'll bring them in. By the time we get done with that half an hour on the field, they're, they're cooking pretty good. You know, they got a good sweat going and they're ready to train. Their nervous system is, is awake and ready to go. So. Uh, we'll bring them in, we'll put them into the racks. We have three, uh, no more than three athletes to every rack and platform. Um, our coach to athlete ratio is no more than one coach to 12 athletes. So uh, we'll get them situated in the room. Uh, we'll start them out with their movement for the day on the platform. Um, and uh, they'll go through some warm up sets on that until they get to their heavy sets and then we'll go uh, start the workout. Right now, we actually have a lot of different variation in, in uh, uh, the actual uh, exercises that we do. Uh, this is what we call our strength endurance phase or our hypertrophy phase, where we do a lot of volume at the start of our off season, um, a lot of sets and reps of a lot of different exercises through a lot of different planes of motion, just trying to get their bodies reacclimated to uh, the physical stress of working out. Um, so. Right now, um, gosh, uh, uh, today we probably did um, uh, we probably did about uh, 10 to 12 different exercises uh, in the weight room. After they get done uh, with the workout, uh, we go through what's called our regener uh, regeneration phase, which is really important to us, where we'll take them through a cool down. Uh, we'll uh, take them through a stretch, try to open them back up. If we're doing an upper body day, we're going to try to open their upper back back up and their shoulders back up. If it's a lower body day, we're going to try to open their hip flexors back up and loosen them back up through their hamstrings. Um, so we'll do that in the open turf area with our foam rollers and stretch bands and the like. Uh, after that, we bring them together. We'll give any type of announcements we might have for the day. Um, we'll break them down. Then the athletes will go and get um, uh, a recovery shake back in the back. Um, after they take that recovery shake, we think it's really important for them to take that within the 30 minutes that they work out. They'll take that and then from there they actually move upstairs and go through uh, a breakfast training table that's catered and uh, custom designed for each athlete. So we get done with our six o'clock group. They're, they're actually will be finishing up in the room and then I turn right around and I go back out there at 7.30 and, and start the next group. Um, and then I turn around and do it all over again at nine o'clock. So it's kind of like Groundhog Day. And, and uh, the thing is, is um, you, know, I, you know, we educate our coaches that uh, they need to bring the same energy for the last workouts they did for the first workout. There's a couple of things, elements with when it comes to pace with our workouts. One, the first and foremost is, we, we run through a, a, a quick pace just because we feel that's uh, conducive to training a football player. Um, you know, we want them to be able to perform uh, big lifts in the weight room with a lot of weight uh, through a full range of motion with not a lot of recovery time between each um, uh, set um, because we think, that, again, that's how football's played. Uh, but also, you know, because, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, uh, we're confined by the same rule that every other program is, and that's the eight-hour rule in the offseason. We only have eight hours a week to train with our, uh, with our football players, so we've got to make those eight hours very impactful. Next week on Football Friday, we'll look ahead to signing day by looking back as current UCLA freshmen will flex back a year on the final days before they signed on to become Bruins. 
course, the best news and notes on UCLA football. You get it all right here. Bruin TV, UCLA Bruins. Dot com.